Okay. Okay, we are going to take a look at page 19.
Hmm. Actually, we got a tag. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Soon, uh, <clears throat> important business call. All right. What's up, Liam? used to twitch interface is kind of All right, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> Got to figure this interface out. All right, um, let's see. Looks like we need to uh, pop the chat out and put it in front of me. Let me do that. Pop out chat. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Oh, that is slick. Okay. Boom. Okay, put my analytics there. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're in the middle of rocking this page here. Let me zoom out on it. We're very close to wrapping. See, I think I want to texture. No, I already textured that. Yeah, I don't think I want to do anything else to this, really. Yeah. 
Oh, I have to uh, texture shogi. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, we're gonna shut off all of our extra layers here that are modifying our colors. And we're gonna just, we're gonna have these local colors. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this. Okay, let's see. Um, what do we got here? That. Okay, let's switch this to multiply. Let's see. Oops, slice this up a little bit. All right, so we got a little bit of um. A little bit of highlight there. Actually, <laughs> let's add a little bit of a anti-alias here. Uh, the highlight right there. Okay. Switch to screen and go back to about 30%. And maybe go lower. Go to 10. Yeah. It's too far back. Right there. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Uh, 20%. There we go. people are still in discord oh. nobody <laughs> all right let's take a look a little reflection there
I'm gonna go back. I'm the wrong color. <laughs> Although it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Should have been more like this. It's too cool. Okay. What are we at? Screen mode? See, let's go to like a twenty percent. Okay. 
save as final tiff Okay, so we're in some way K. Switch back to RGB. Uh, image size 300. Save as proof. JPEG. Okay. So we need to actually we need to do the same to page sixteen. Okay. Image duplicate. Layer flatten image. And go to CMYK mode. Save as. Final. Print. Switch our mode back to RGB once it's done saving. Go back to JPEG. Go into proof. done okay so 16 18 17 18 yep both those are already proofed and submitted 19 just got submitted 16 let's change that to green Okay, 21. Okay, 21 needs, needs a little bit more rendering. 22, we need to adjust the pit of the eye. And then 23 needs facial rendering. All right, let's go to 21. Okay, full screen. <clears throat> okay, so we still don't have uniforms revised yet. So I can't do that panel. What I can do is I can lay in the colors for, his name is Scott. All right, so let's get our color palette from uh, Nineteen. Okay, I put that at the top of the stack here. We can ditch this other one.
Okay. Okay, I believe I've got him with a dark green jacket. So these are his colors. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get that going there. The anti alias free lasso. <coughs> Man, my voice is so scratchy. <laughs> um Oh, you know what? We'll do the skin tone first. Get on a flat slayer real quick. Alright. So the beauty of already having some flats is we can just select into some of this color already. And just freehand lasso our way to victory. So we just have to subtract. Uh, it's magic wand subtract. Contiguous. Boom. Now we just need to remove the clothing here. setup up here. <laughs> I guess it looks fine. Okay. Let's go fill that. Um, looks like we got part of the face, or that be shirt. Hmm. I think that's gonna end up being mostly hair and shirt. All right, we'll figure that out later. All right, so we can broadly select that magic wand, subtract, and then lasso, subtract. These guys. And fill. Boom. Same with this. God damn, he's smashing his whole face into the ground. <laughs> All right, same thing. Okay, so now we need to remove this Mangus action explosion <laughs> little action burst okay I think that's a curled finger and that is a curled finger we're gonna call it that okay now with this we need actually <clears throat> we need to select these guys so we'll just broad select same thing here Magic wand subtract and then subtract out the leg. The good part is, is whenever we, <clears throat> when we go to fill in the leg, the pant leg, we'll be able to magic wand subtract just the fingers and that'll be 
That'll be awesome because it'll go much quicker. The reverse is going to be much easier. Okay. Same with that. Okay. All right. This is all going to be skin tone. We're just going to stay right in between the lines there. And the magic wand subtract that. Okay, we got to get a little bit more precise right here. Okay, same thing. Now I like to treat the, uh, the actual filled black areas as a solid zone that needs the same kind of a well, not exactly the amount of detailed attention as other pixeled areas, but makes selecting things a lot easier when you do. Okay, we got one more hand to do, and this is a this is a complete selection we gotta make here. It's a good idea also when you're magic wanding to complete your selections frequently because it will save you a lot of time if you do. Because let's say, let's say you make a complex selection that's like this, right? You're selecting all these things and you accidentally double click. Boom, see that straight line? Now you've got that selected, that selected, that selected, and that selected. That's not what you want. So, you wanna make sure added that to my collection. You want to make sure, we got a little piece here, um, to complete your selections frequently. You can even, to kind of get an idea of where it's headed, you can even fill as you go. That works too. So this is, we're just laying in some flat colors right here. And then I believe he's wearing green. He's wearing green. So we're gonna add green to him, to his clothing. And that should go rather quickly because those are solid fills again. And it looks like we gotta fix the line art a little bit right here too because this, the tips of these fingers have lines going through the end of them. And uh, I don't think we particularly want that. So let's go over to our line art and let's get black brush and get just a soft round and we are going to, oops, we're going to make it 100% opacity and shrink her down to about like that. And we are going to paint some white right here. Oops, let me be on the right layer. Why are we not getting white? Oh, it's multiply mode. <laughs> Gotta make sure your brush mode is correct. Otherwise you get nothing. You get nothing. All right. That's set all the way to hard? Yeah, it is. And sorry if I'm a little out of sorts, guys. I'm, uh, I've never streamed to YouTube before. I stream on Twitch, so this is, I don't know where to look. My interface is in different places. 
<laughs> it's a new experience for me. So I got to figure it out. Uh, let's see. Uh, add this fingertip all the way out here. <clears throat> Those are fine details, but over the aggregate, they they end up they end up mattering. Let me just take a little bit of that out of there. I don't do too much of that. Kind of let 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 what's given to me live, but every now and again, I'll uh, I'll go in and do a little a little a little touch up here and there, just a little little tiny thing from time to time. Spotify too loud. I have separate audio controls, one for my ears and one for the stream, so it's relatively voluminous in my ears, but not on the stream. And this is just royalty-free beats, just so I have something playing. I don't know if YouTube's gonna ding me or not. They're royalty free, so it shouldn't, shouldn't give me a problem. It's transformative work. The transformative work is what's happening there. Okay, so it looks like the collar and the undershirt, they both need to be this, oh, where's my sampling for him? Here, this lighter green. Uh, darker green is the jacket. All right, so let's start over here. Okay, it would appear. You wearing three shirts? No, that's just like a texture of some sort. All right, so we'll get the undershirt is gonna be the lighter green, which would be command delete, fill with background. I'm gonna go ahead and select out into the color up there because we're gonna magic wand subtract. selection there magic wand subtract and command delete and it looks like it splits up the middle here we're gonna go ahead and do that cruise on up there like that And I mean, if we're being honest, we could probably stand to go something like that. But that's the front of the collar, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if that sticks. Same thing out into the color there. And we're gonna go down, we're gonna grab that little highlight. Don't need to be particularly accurate right here because it's a nice wide line. Go out into the color. Actually, let's do this. And cut out right like that. It's a good idea to do that because then when you do your subtraction, you get as many, well, not as many, you get a nice tight junction between colors. So we, so we turn off our ink layer, we look at it, right? So we got these pixels here. So when we magic wand subtract, what we're doing is we're subtracting all of those pixels and all those pixels. And so when we fill, we've got no transparent pixels between the two. We got a nice junction. That's what we want. Transparent pixels are the bane of your existence. You don't want that. Do they want that? All right, let's get in there and okay. Go 
one here. Magic wand subtract and fill. Oops, wrong, wrong fill. <laughs> and we gotta get the undershirt. And we'll color the pants. I think the pants are brown. Pretty sure I colored the pants brown. All right, let's dip on out into the color. Then back in. We're gonna grab that sketchiness down there. Cruise across like that. The question is, are we uh, actually we're going to trace this bottom line here? That's the bottom line. Okay, that is not part the shirt cut on in here like that and then boom. cool now according to my color palette um hmm need to look at page Uh, I guess it would be 19 by 19. Yeah. Okay. So on page 19, turn off uh, it's external colors. Let's see. Let me get rid of that. We'll just sample that like that. It's being color shifted because I have all these overlays and color screens and washes and whatnot to give us this outdoor raininess and atmospheric distortion and whatnot. It's it turned out pretty good. It's, it's got nice depth. Nice depth. Okay. No, sa no savies. Hmm. Okay, well, let's we'll do that then. Huh. Okay. Okay. The question is, yeah, I guess. shoes off. Oh, that song's obnoxious. What the fuck? Okay, so <laughs> that noise is just fucking obnoxious. Let's get back to our flats. Subtract, subtract. Subtract, do. 
Yeah, it hasn't gotten any less obnoxious. All right, no fucking transport that shit. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna fill those white zones later. A different brown. It is. All right, that's good. Okay, so we select through the color here. We'll be able to magic wand subtract. And I'll grab just one bit like that. And grab that. Okay. There we go. I think we might be able to just actually because we got this end border here, we won't be able to do that. Cut through the color there. Ooh, it went outside the border. Let's we'll fix that. Subtract, 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 subtract. Manually get that. I don't want this color creep. Just cut it off right there. Okay. Size right here. I need to add all that first. Oof. I need to subtract all this. Okay. fill this with green. Oh yeah. I think part of that should be brown. Dip into the color. Actually, what the fuck are we doing? We dipping into all that. Okay. Mm. 
Man, I was spicy on Twitter today. Couldn't help myself. I was having a rough day at work. And I kept reading bullshit on Twitter. And I was just, fuck these guys, man. I let them get to the... I let them get to me today. I let them get to me today. I let the concerned trolls get me today. Disappointed in myself. But... What you gonna do? Hmm? What you gonna do? Sometimes you crack. Sometimes you crack. And I definitely cracked today. I was even arguing with Liefeld today. <laughs> it was kind of useless, but I wasn't really arguing. It's more like just kind of. I don't know. I shared that image documentary on that was on sci-fi and he's like that documentary is trash it's like well let's I mean according to you I mean yeah everybody else got to say their piece you got to say your piece and you know some of the other guys said some shit about you that wasn't too favorable I mean pretty much said you like to run your mouth <laughs> If I'm reading between the lines, it's kind of what they say. You know, it's kind of what Jim Lee says, at least. So, with all due respect, I, you know, is it trash or is it just because you don't like the way you were portrayed? I suspect it's probably the latter. But, I don't like to argue with Rob Liefeld. It's not fruit. It's it's fruitless. It's not. Uh, it's not worth it. It's not a good idea. So what's funny is back in my early twenties, like when I worked at Kinkos all these years ago, I I photocopied his his art pages many times. He he'd come into my. Uh, <laughs> the branch I worked at in Anaheim. Well, it's actually Fullerton, but, but yeah. And shortly thereafter is when I became a background anchor to one of... <laughs> actually, yeah, to, well, Larry didn't work there. I don't think I don't think Larry worked at Wildstorm. Or not Wildstorm, uh, uh, Extreme. It's crazy how small this world is, though, man. It is really crazy because I went to college with with uh, Jonathan Sabal's little brother. We had art classes together, and Jonathan Sabal and Marlo were friends. And I apprenticed under Marlo as an anchor. It's like really fucking small, man. That's why I always try to be cool. I try to be cool to everybody I meet and everybody I talk to. Because you never know when that shit's going to come back. But today I was a poor example of that. I fell short. I let the concern trolls piss me off. It's fucking embarrassing. But sometimes, like Christopher Walken says, the lion... Gotta fucking remind them that he's a lion. So I did that today. <laughs> oh, it sounds so douchey. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm a grown ass man, dude. I don't give a shit. It's, it's funny, this guy. He was like, wait, I'm a, I'm a potential customer. Aren't you supposed to kiss my ass? I'm like, bro, you did nothing but talk shit about Comicsgate for like the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Your last five tweets said nothing but garbage about Comicsgate. What would, what, would, what would lead you to believe that I would believe for a second that you're a customer or even a potential customer? Get fucked, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. And, uh, yeah, so that was an example of my day. <laughs> so bad. 
every now and then, every now and then I let loose. I generally try to be agreeable and complimentary where I can and call bullshit where I see it. But you know, I try not to argue with people on Twitter because it's like, it literally changes no minds. Most of what you say ends up sounding like you sound like an asshole. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't bring anybody together. Just serves to <laughs> for some further point. I mean, whatever. Um, let's see. What color shoes does he want? I usually kind of have a rule. Just make the kicks match the fucking jacket. But in this case, I don't know if that's going to work. What do we think, chat? I think I got empty soda cans next to me, which is bullshit. Because I'm thirsty. Um, hmm. I might just shelve this page until Odie fixes the uniforms sucks because I really like the way this looks and I started to render this shit already kind of like the way they look I don't see a real problem with them I think they look okay I guess I don't know I don't know it is what it is it'll get fixed when they get fixed all right um Gonna go green kicks. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Oh. Well, hello there. Hello there. Get a little seepage. We're going to do the lighter green socks because we classy AF. And the darker green shoes. Look at fuck, we're so cool. that now okay so we're gonna we're gonna repair the speed lines once we go to render um but until this until these suits get fixed and rectified I don't think I want to go any further on this page. Mm, I'm going to render the legs and stuff. We'll just, uh, we'll just fill in the, the claws. Where's my, where's my palette? Oh, there it is. Okay. Claws of the bird are this brown color. It is pretty sure. I'm going to just Magic wand that. Magic wand? Eye dropper. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I think his, his name says the guy's name was Scott. The Scott? I forget. Maybe he said Scott. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put more green in there. That don't seem right to me. I think that's where this page is going to sit until these uniforms get fixed. Okay. I think this page is ready to wrap too. I put a link in my go live tweet. Where do I look? <laughs> oh, oh, YouTube. You're definitely not Twitch, that's for sure. Desperately trying to figure this out. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Okay, rendered. Borders rendered. Yeah. Cityscape is separated into three planes. And a plane there and a plane there on the pyramid. Some lightning. Okay. So now we're going to image duplicate. Layer. Oh, uh, did I fucking wait a minute? Let me switch this around to three hundred. Yeah, I did. Does my keyboard cam work? It might.
This boom is in the way. <laughs> Let's see. Alerts. Info. Yeah, that's all Twitch info. We'll turn those off. I'll leave the Spotify info up. <laughs> what is that? My mixer? Yeah, it is. Okay. Do this. There. tablet is it's down here <laughs> I can't see my pen what you can see is my fingers the gaming keyboards in view my phone is in view let's push that out of there <laughs> yeah all right alternate view we'll just add an alternate view Okay, image size, let's make sure it's uh, history, history. Okay, so that's the proof. Yeah, we don't need to look at that. Okay. Mode, CMYK. Cool. Yeah, it did, dulled right out just exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. All right, we're going to save as. We're going to go to our print folder. Save as a TIFF. Annotate print in the file name. Yeah, we're going to replace that. Okay, now we're going to go back to RGB mode. We're going to switch the DPI to 300. And we are going to save as JPEG and annotate proof. Perfect. And there we go. Okay, so 20. No, 21. Okay, so that one, that one needs edits. Switch that to yellow. 22. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta do some funky stuff here. Alright, so this is a this is like a gruesome fucking murder scene. We got some uniforms to update. Let's see, we've done all the facial rendering. And we got some tone on there. It's all done, 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 done. Yeah. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to, we need to add some dark spots here. All right, so. See what is a blend mode multiply and linear dodge. All right, I think if we add a, another not quite what I was looking for. All right. Okay. So multiply was about as see all right let's go ahead and get uh this guy we're gonna add some some recesses here
We want to make that look more like an empty socket, a little bit more like an empty socket. So we're going to blend. And that's at a hundred percent too. I might actually end up putting a, just a, just a blank pixel layer over top and brushing it in. Okay. In case this isn't dark enough. I want to stay right in the socket area here. All right, let's take a look. Look what we got. It's better. Okay, um, so we're gonna add a layer on top. You know, we're gonna want to go full. We're gonna do the nasty. All right. I'm gonna screen mode it. Hmm. Do this. Go with black. Switch to screen mode. And uh, we do that. We'll multiply. Yeah, it's not gonna get it done. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna multiply mode. Yeah, that's going to work actually pretty well. We want it to look spotty and the center point would be darker. We want the top edge to probably be the darkest because there's less light getting at the top edge of the socket. Oh, that's fucking gruesome. <laughs> that, that's that's fucking terrible. Oh, God. Yeah, let's get that little dot out of there. But fuck, that's gross. Ugh. I'm going to round this out a little bit. Just a touch. All right. All right, let's switch this to screen mode. And uh, layer mode is multiply. All right. I'm gonna lighten up the background just a touch. Just off in the distance so that it gets Oh, fuck me. Liam, you better be happy with that. That's fucking gross, dude. <laughs> oh, man. It's grossing me out. Oh, is my music done? Did it play the whole thing? Holy shit. All right. We're going to go to Monster Cat. Monster Cat's. Royalty free. I think. Pretty sure. All right. 
Now we need to basically need to tear this cheek a little bit. Switch back to multiply mode. We're basically just tearing the flesh away. Tearing it away. Making a gap. Oh, it's fucking gruesome. It's making, it's actually grossing me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm being real, actually. It's fucking grossing me out a little bit. Not really into gore, man. All right. I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to go with that. Oh, shit. Is that my katana? Oh, shit. It is my katana. <laughs> Check it out. That's how you know your boy's a weeb. Clean Hammond line right there. Okay. Uh Oh, that's fucking disgusting. All right. I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh save a proof copy of this just for the rest of it and then we will edit the uniforms as soon as they're done and add them in okay flatten image oof CMYK. I'm not gonna make a print file for this one since it's only is only for proofing. Three hundred. And save as JPEG. Proof. There we go. Oh, save this copy. Okay. Okay, that. This isn't same on camera, is it? 
RGB and 300. Okay. Okay. Still layered and we save. Okay. And 23. Okay. 23. Okay, what do we got here? That is all the bird bodies. All the bird bodies. All the bird wings. What is that? Oh, the bird mouth. These are the clouds. Or not the clouds, but the uh, the dust that's being flapped up from the wings. What is this? Those are the teeth. Okay, so these two things. Okay. Actually, we don't want to merge those yet. Yeah, we're going to leave those separate. Pretty sure I used a, a oil around when linear dodge mode for the bird skin. What is that kind of teeth? All right, so let's. Get a selection there. I'm not gonna worry about Actually, let's go ahead and grab them all. Okay. Yeah. At the top of the stack there. Okay, so now uh, linear dodge mode, let's go down to 20%. Let's see what we got here. Rim light there. Too hot. Too hot. Okay. Most of the stuff is in shadow. <laughs> What's up? Uh, volume is super low. 
volume is super low. My my microphone is super low. Um by the way, what's up, Chuck? I have the volume on the Spotify music really, really low. I can do that. Punch it up just a hair. Okay. Put the chat over right in front of my face again because it's, it's this interface. So I'm not used to the YouTube interface, so got shit kind of all over the place. Um. So let's see. Um, let's see. Check, check. Yeah. And then go like, go like that. Turn up the gain just a touch. There you go. All right. Um. Let's see. You guys there? Just seems really soft. Yeah, I turned the music up a little bit because I, I had the Spotify really, really low. Let's check this shit out, dude. Um. Okay, so I got. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'm not gonna lie, Liam. What you had me do this page grosses me out. <laughs> Are you ready for this shit? <sighs> there. I'm more like what you were looking for. That. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I need to turn my jacket off. I'm going to fling this onto the floor. Throw that right like that. All right. Um, so yeah, so there's this. Is there a big delay? Really? That's what you wanted? Good. All right, let's see. Look at the preview. Oh, it's not that bad. It's like, like, like two seconds. <laughs> all right cool all right so so there you go so that's that's fixed so now this page is literally only i made a proof so that you know you can be looked at it's only waiting for these uniforms everything else is done with it i'm gonna make an effort to be more present like i was in early days i've just been so flooded with work i feel you man and, and that's the thing like i've been getting home so late that I've just been going into my studio, sitting down and coloring, not even turning on my stream. I just, ah, fuck. If I, if I start streaming at 11 o'clock, my time, 11 p.m. my time, it just feels weird. So, so anyway, so I think this page is super, super successful. And, uh, gruesome as fuck, dude. <laughs> really gruesome. Um... So then there's this page, which is just flying through the storm, just turbulence and fucking all kinds of just lightning and just looks cold as shit. And then this page. This, I think this scene turned out really good. cold 
It's, uh, I don't know what's up with these kids just standing out in the fucking rain. Dude, bring an umbrella. What are we doing? <laughs> so we've got a nice cool wash on everything to make them feel nice and cold. But I've separated this out into multiple planes. Um, so realistically speaking, we've got uh, is this gonna work? No, this won't work. We've got this plane here, foreground. We've got this plane here with the cars. Then we've got another plane right here with these buildings here and then the sky, another plane. So we've got lots of depth built in. Got to get Odie to change that sign from reading Xenotype. Oh, really? Okay, well, I'm going to submit this proof. You guys make your make your notations and uh, I'll copy and paste in whatever needs to go there. So, yeah. So then top panel looks, you know, really, really spread out and, and deep. Middle panel, really dreary. Added a lot of, uh, a lot of glows to the windows, um, you know, headlights and whatnot. Um, we got you know, a nice, you know, relatively crisp foreground and sort of crisp and then fades off into softness back here. Got plain, this plain, you know, which is all the foreground plain, and then another plain kind of in the middle ground, which includes that, and then another plain, which is these buildings that are off in the distance here. So, uh, just making small type, oh, small talk, oh, okay. So there's that. And then this is washed in like purple so that everything is basically they're flying through the clouds, flying through the rain, you know, everything's tinted with the atmospheric um, ambient light. So, like this page a lot. And then I'm working on this one now. So, um, once once I get the birds rendered, I'm gonna be adding. Essentially, I'm gonna add a duplicate of this on top of the inks, and then set this to. Screen and set it back to like 50% eh, like that so that the birds are all color holded held color held hold color hold so you got one two birds here and then these guys in the foreground and everything else will be nice and soft in the background off in the distance so so you resume focus on this guy right here this will be your focal point because he's obviously the silhouetted figure is observing this bird doing its thing and it's flapping its wings and causing all this dust to kick up on top of the pyramid. So, so when that goes on top, that will create that cool effect. Okay. Lightning. And then I'm also going to need to. Just go back here. And then. So, how does it. So, 
So how does it feel to be a village idiot? Am I the village idiot? Why am I the village idiot? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did I do to earn that? Explain yourself, Chuckles. I'm streaming on YouTube. Is that why? Oof. Go down to 20% flow. See your face in the crowd. You don't seem so far away. The only thing between us is empty space. Still a bit quiet. I don't know how, Liam. I, I because I show you my OBS. Um, let's see, you can see my OBS. My microphone, my microphone's kicking up into yellow, so. <laughs> I know my audio levels are not low. So don't know. Well, let's see. No, we all are. Edwin says CG is the International Association of Village Idiots because one person says something really harsh to him on Twitter. <laughs> Speaking of. Speaking of, I got to confess. I got to confess to you guys. My brothers, I got to confess to you. You ready? You ready for my confession? Here comes my confession. I let those fuckers get to me today. I let them, I let them get to me. I was spicy today on Twitter. I was having a rough day at work. And uh, I saw somebody had said, you know, <clears throat> I saw somebody had said, Comicsgate is image 2.0. And Rob Liefeld said, I disagree. And I was like, really? I mean, obviously there's similarities. They're not the same, clearly. I would never suggest that they are completely the same. It's quite clear. But to say they're not anywhere close to the same thing, well, that's just factually inaccurate. So, so there was a little bit of a dust up. Um, and I linked uh, the sci-fi video, which is a documentary on on the image comics uh, phenomenon. And it was a documentary, a five-part series on that sci-fi did, posted it on YouTube. And basically they interviewed all all of the original image artists one at a time and let them give their account of kind of what happened. Well, each one of them kind of talked a little bit of shit about Rob Liefeld. A little bit. Not much. They just painted him as a, you know, kind of run in his mouth a lot. I only really care for Rob's work, but some people really appreciate I don't like Rob's art at all. I think he's... I think he's... Honestly, honestly, I can draw better than Rob Liefeld. I choose not to because <laughs> I'm not fast. I'm not fast. I take my time. I'm slow. I don't pencil often, but I can draw better than him. Now, he's infinitely more successful than I am or probably ever will be, right? But he was in the right place at the right time and knew the right people. The word is hack. He can't draw feet. He can't draw hands. He draws weird crotches. 
He covers everything. He covers up his lack of understanding of anatomy by covering his figures in pouches and backpacks and shit, <laughs> which is a which is a meme at this point, you know. But hey, <clears throat> he's made a decent living. But back to the story. Um, the guy I was kind of arguing with it wasn't really Rob Liefeld. It was it's really another dude. Um. Because this guy was trashing Comicsgate, just saying a bunch of shit about Comicsgate. And I was like, well, you're kind of not really being, you're kind of being dishonest, really, is what you're being. And so I linked the thing and he goes, oh, Rob says that, uh, <clears throat> Rob says that that uh, documentary is, uh, is, is, the, is not true. It's the worst one out of anyone that's out there. I'm like, well, that's what, that's what Rob says. He doesn't look particularly good in it. Like, you know, he's definitely passionate, and I said passion comes through, and I, I, I actually appreciated what he had to say quite a lot. But the other image guys talked a little bit of shit about him. Jim Lee in particular said, oh, yeah, Rob's got the greatest memory. He's the one who did everything. Image Comics never would have came about if it wasn't for him. And some of that may be true, right? But... It's clear that there was not the greatest relationship there. It was obvious. Jim Lee made it pretty clear without even saying it. So Rob commented on my post and said, this documentary is, is, is trash. That's why sci-fi is where they are right now. They're garbage or they're this documentary is garbage. That's why sci-fi is where it is. They're complete trash. Something like that. Something to that effect. So it ignited a conversation between me and three other anti guys for about an hour where they were talking shit to me. Um, and I was, I went a little hard. I went a little hard. Um, the guy was like, wait a minute. I'm a potential customer. Don't you need to kiss my ass? And I'm like, no, actually. Actually, con concerned trolls who talk a lot of shit on Twitter. You've, you've trashed Comicsgate for like the last half an hour or longer. There's no fucking way in hell you're a customer. Secondly, get fucked. I don't care because you're, you're talking to a human being. It doesn't matter. You're talking to a human being. You don't... Why don't you temper your shit talk well why don't you take your own advice I'm like, all right but <laughs> and then rumble terrier got involved and started linking ethan's fucking stream uh it all goes back to ethan it all circles back to ebs all back to ethan it's like fuck dude you guys are so paper thin transparent so so anyway yeah, I lost my cool. I can admit it. I let those fucking dickheads get to me and uh, concern troll me into uh, into getting angry. So I'm human. I I uh, I fall short sometimes. <laughs> so whatever, whatever. I just don't like when when assholes get to say shit just lob out just insult after insult unanswered talking unbelievable shit with no retort no no consequences what the fuck is that oh <laughs> switch its layer mode to the screen and then Oh, actually, no. Don't want to do that. I'm going to go like this. Put that there. Right. Switch that to screen. There you go. And then switch this down to probably 20. Yeah. We're going to delete that part on the top. That should... 
35. Yeah, 35 is where it's at. Yeah, let me get out. Delete that part off that wing right there. Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta delete a lot actually. Alright, so let's go ahead and merge these layers together. And it's time. This whole fucking bird needs to be opened up. Ugh, okay. Uh, do we have anti-alias? We do now. So yeah, so I I let these uh, I let the concern troll dickheads get to me today. It made me get all spicy on Twitter. <laughs> and at the end of it, I was like, "Here, let me start over." I'm actually kind of nice. So. Hello, I'm Scotsman, and uh, yeah, you don't like my art, that's cool, kind of subjective, but whatever. Andrew Huerta was in there with me too, and he was, he was being more amicable than I was, he was, uh, he was being a little bit more, more complimentary, and not complimentary, he was being a little bit more uh, statesman's, statesman-like. I was just full fucking fire and brimstone, just... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, and I rarely delete tweets. I kind of, for me, I don't, I don't, you know, if someone wants to delete a tweet, that's cool with me, it's, that's their business, but for me, when I tweet something out, I, I rarely, I'm not saying I've never deleted a tweet, but I rarely do, because, you know, I think there should be consequences sometimes for your behavior. Someone called Screen Champ is apparently trolling me from behind a block. Oh god. Screen Champ. That sounds... I never delete tweets unless I make a spiral. Yeah, see, I kind of I kind of stand by what I say, you know what I mean? Screen Champs. Screen Champs. That sounds familiar. Oh, familiar. Hmm. People can say what they like, but if I said something, you meant it, and you can get over it. <laughs> Chuck, you and I kind of, I can tell you right, if, if you and I live close to each other, we barbecue on the weekends. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Pretty sure. <laughs> we got kind of the same personality, it seems. It seems. We don't suffer them fools very well. We say what we mean. We stand by our word. Move to Texas. <laughs> I just bought a house, brother. <laughs> I just bought a house. A very big house. This house is massive. And I have a studio for me to stream in. So... Besides, who else are gonna fight off the fucking commies in California? You need enough, you need gun over gun owners to live here. So you can buy a mansion and stuff. this is almost that. <laughs> Plus, I mean, you know, the company I've been with is here. And uh I've been with this company for it'll be twenty years and twenty well, it's eighteen years right now. Twenty twenty two will be my twenty year anniversary. Started there in two thousand and two. It's fucking insane. It's crazy. I tend to put roots down and stay. I didn't even check the view count. How we doing? Looks like we got five people. Hey. 
Not bad for a maiden voyage. You can do it when you're famous. <laughs> do it when you're famous. Well, hey, you know, my goal, my goal first is to make Liam famous. Famous sir. Famous sir. That's not even a word. I call myself a writer. I use the word famous sir. Liam, you can you can go ahead and slap my wrist through the interwebs. Famous sir. See, this is the thing. This is how I get away with it. So I I am in advertising and marketing. So we're allowed to make up words to serve our purposes. <laughs> That's how we get away with it. We coin terms. We bend the lexicon around our will for however we need it. If you say irregardless, I don't know you. <laughs> irregardless. God damn it. That's a, uh, who is that? Uh, George Lopez, that's one of his bits. He talks about, uh, he's like, if you're Latino, you know your dad uses the word irregardless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a funny bit. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> what was the other part? He's like, that and uh, uh, he's always, he says, we're always worried somebody's going to charge us. Hey, don't, don't touch that. They're going to charge you for that. <laughs> Fucking George Lopez, dude. We gotta, <clears throat> we gotta give the appearance that this bird is on top. Fuck. We gotta delete the entire circumference of this bird body. Fuck me, dude. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold up. Uh. Boom. Oh, I feel like life just changed. Just go and type in chat. Type something in chat. Ooh, back in a tick. Look at that fucking wrench. Ooh. Straight up modded. All right, Chuck, you and Liam are my my only two mods. Fresh channel. Well, I've had this channel for fucking years, but <laughs> this is my first YouTube stream, guys. Um, what did we start the night with? We had 39 subscribers. Ultimate power. We're at 41 subscribers. Okay. 41 subs, two likes. Two likes. That looks like three likes on the video. Look at that shit. Sweet. Okay. Now this is this is a bona fide live stream. Now we got some mods in here. We got some mods in here. We got five people watching. I don't know if that's counting me or not. So that means we got a couple of lurkers. Welcome lurkers. We love lurkers. We don't bug, we don't poke the lurk force. We let them do their thing. 
kind of streaming etiquette. You never poke the lurkers. You just let them lurk. Because there's a reason why they're lurking. They're either lurking because they hate your guts, or they're lurking because they're shy. They got nothing to say. One of those things. Regardless, eerie. Oh, fuck. This is why. This is why you don't make big selections like that. That's why. This is a fucking thing. Ruins your dreams. Dreams ruined. Dreams ruined. Dreams ruined. What wasn't I just saying that? What wasn't I just saying? It's not a good idea to make really big selections because you'll save a lot of time if you end your selections frequently. Then I make a fucking 50 yard long lasso selection and accidentally double tap my pen. Fucking disaster, guys. Feels weird streaming on YouTube, man. I'll tell you. Streaming on Twitch all these years. I'm looking at the interface and I'm like, don't qu don't quite know what to look at. <laughs> but I popped the chat out, so it's right in front of me. Uh, I'm I hit 70 followers tonight, and preliminary average views are 1.86. Nice. Nice. Fucking on your way, dude. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. When you hit... <clears throat> God damn it. When you hit uh, affiliate status, you get my Twitch Prime. I'm just telling you right now. It's going to happen. I will Twitch Prime your face. I will Prime your face with a Twitch Prime. Just so you know that. That's coming. That's coming, Chuck. So you tell me when that happens. And I will jowl you with a Twitch Prime. <laughs> the Twitch Prime will bounce upon you like a wiffle ball. Hit by a very taut, very taut racket, racket ball racket. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm making shit up right now. Completely making shit up. Ah, oh, the lasso, the lasso. Um, I'm down for YouTube podcast to bring the heat. Fuck yeah, man. So, so what are people doing these days for those things? Are they, are they using the Google Hangouts still? That's still the method of choice? Cause it used to be Hangouts on air and then Google got rid of that and such. No, I know people are using StreamYard, but like StreamYard is six people. You know, you got six. But like I see like CG UK, like uh, Peter Gilmore, uh, Kami Mark, Captain Fuckhead, you know, Charlie's London. You know, they're all together with a few other people and they got like eight or nine people on. And that ain't StreamYard that they're using. They're using like, pretty sure it's Google Hangouts. I even Liam was on there the other day. I was in the chat. 
I was chatting them up. I was, I was jeering. I was, I was throwing jeers. I was, I was cracking wise, giving Captain Fuckhead the business because he's got a British accent, not a, not a Scottish accent. <laughs> I got so much shit. I'm sure Mandy would uh, share that if uh, we ask her. Okay. Well, I think Mandy uses StreamYards for hers, but like, but like the CG UK people, I saw them on a stream the other day and they had like nine people in there or whatever. And instead of having like a stream yard set up, it was a line of, of boxes with everybody's thumbnail down at the bottom. And uh, it's like what uh, War Campaign uses for uh, Drawn and Backhold and what, you know, Mike was using for Drawn and Quartered. Pretty sure that's uh, Google Hangouts. But either way. Like I was saying, like, the other day when I was on Ethan's stream, like three or four people <laughs> in the chat were like, that's not a Scottish accent. What's up with that? I'm like, dude, you can be Scottish and be from America. I'm of Scottish descent, as evidenced by this glorious soul stealer right here. My neck armor. This is my, this is my armor. And then, so the other day on the... <laughs> on stream captain fuckhead was there and uh he he had like a pretty thick british accent i was like wait what is this i get the business for not having a scottish accent and captain fuckhead doesn't have a scottish accent either he's like Shh, you don't want to blow my cover <laughs> my secret identity must be maintained like, fair enough Fair enough, brother. I'll inquire and let you know. Okay. <sighs> um. Oh, Liam, you still there, bud? A Texan accent, and I'm from here. <laughs> Do you say reckon? Do you say fixin'? I'm fixin' to go to the go down, go into town. <laughs> you say I'm fixin' to I'm fixin' to go into town, go into the grocery store. Y'all need anything? <laughs> Do you wave? Do you weave the word y'all? into anything. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Odie sent me another batch of pages. Um, but he skipped a massive section of the book. Uh, I may pass out because I have to be up there. All right, brother. Nah, you gotta go, you gotta go. I appreciate you being here, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, and I can't wait to throw that Twitch Prime at your face. Um, so yeah, so Odie sent me some new pages, and he skipped a big portion of the book. He went to uh, 126, so from page 23 to 126, 27, 28, 29, 30. These are fucking awesome pages, by the way. So, so I started flatting this one. Yeah, read my last Twitter message to you. Okay. Read my last Twitter message to you. Twitter message. Um, makes sense. Oh. Okay, let's see. Um, 
Da, 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 da. Let's see. Wait. Did minor edits to the line work? Okay. So this does not happen again. Oh, excellent. Uh, we're also going to start sending you the most recent pages and get you to color the book backwards. Ah. Uh, then while you're coloring, after we finish the book, we will go back to the beginning and do touch-ups in the earlier pages. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay. That's, see, that's a, that is a, that is a great idea. Honestly, that's a great idea because, you know, as Odie is evolving, he's getting stronger. His power level is increasing. You can see it in his art. And some of his earlier pages were very fast, very sketchy. And I fixed a lot of things. I just didn't talk about. I just fixed stuff before, before we even, before you even had me fix anything. I fixed some stuff um, on my own, but. Um, that's great. I, I appreciate that a lot, very much. Um, you know, perfect, perfect example. Something that, something I didn't mention. I would, I would never have even brought it up, actually. But I'll, I'll show you one thing. This page right here, page ten. So, so if we go to page ten. This panel right here. Okay, so let's go to the source. Actually, not source. We'll go to yeah, source. We have a source. Page ten. Oh, oh, that's right. They got renumbered. Fuck. <laughs> got renumbered. Uh, so that'll be oh, 12? 11 or twelve. No. What? So. Page nine. There you go, page nine. Okay, so so check this out. So in looking at his hand here, I'm like, what the fuck is going on with his hand? Like, I thought at first, like, I thought at first that, uh, this black and white. Yeah, let's go to RGB. So I thought at first that this, these were speed lines, right? Like how, you know, he's turning his hand really quick or something. And these are speed lines. And I'm like, wait a minute, those can't be speed lines. That doesn't make any sense. Like, okay. So thumb, index finger, middle finger, right? Ring finger, pinky. All right. So we go, all right, if I just know that the, the, the thumb, the thumb is on this side, that's the thumb. Well, it's tucked in there. Index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky? What is that? So I stared at this hand for like 20 minutes. Oh, I already fixed it. You don't even need to, you don't need to tell him. You don't even need to tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> he doesn't need to know this. He don't need to know this. So all I did was, all I did was redraw the hand to be, to be, to be that, right? The fingers are like this. Thumb is in the middle. Fingers spanned out slightly. So now it's the correct two fingers are not wrapped. They're open from the drawing glove and his thumb and the proper two fingers are covered. I kept the same curl and just added the thumb in there. Just opened it up. So it's fixed. So you don't even need to tell. <laughs> Only reason I tell you is because we we're just talking about it. So. I want him to know uh, for touching for touching up the black and white. Oh, oh. Mm. 
That is true. Well, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> I have a layered version if, if you want to be able to, uh, you want to be able to snag that. Um, what was it? Little page 10. Yeah. So I could give him this tiff. And, uh, oh, he works at 600. So for coloring, I only work at four. But he could very easily just, you know. If he could fucking just redraw it. He's an artist. He knows what to do. <laughs> He's the guy who drew the shit. He could draw it again. But anyway, so that's that's what I did. And I, I just did some straight hatching on the thumb just to, just to hide the, just to shade the thumb properly. You know what I mean? So that's all. But my world is crumbling. Let it collapse into the earth. So yeah, so we just, you know, fix stuff when we see it. To to a degree, I mean, uh, you know. It's just a blank slate. Waiting for a pain to interfere. Trying to be a partner here, man. Trying to be trying to be an asset. You know what I mean? Like I said in the beginning, you didn't just hire a colorist. You hired a, you hired an artist who, who actually cares. <laughs> who actually cares. I don't know. I don't know if this is, you, you hired an artist who cares about the work and doesn't care about the money. I don't know if that's good or bad, but. <laughs> Because honestly, dude, every single successful comic skate book, every book that gets put out under that banner, every book that successfully funds and ships and people enjoy is another plank, telephone pole sized fucking plank in the eye of the haters. Every one of them. Every one of them. So when CG receives Xenotype, and all the accolades that it deserves and everybody everybody who backs the book gets their copy and loves the story and it becomes yet another property in the in the nebula in the nebula of success and fellowship and friendship and business within comicsgate as a movement it's one more, it's one more twist of the knife in the people who would call us all manner of names. All the snipers who sit there who have literally nothing going on in their lives but to talk shit and be haters. When my book, when Hero Hero gets published, all of that, It'll be another one. When Sovereign, when Huerta's book goes to print. Another one. He's already kind of in the negative because he's... He's late. Like, fuck, dude. The dude's a, he, the dude's a savant, okay? He's, he's, he's whipping out these drawings. He's assisting other creators. He's making... He's doing kind of what Ethan did. He's, his book is growing exponentially. And he's helped out a bunch of people. He colored cash grabs cover. He's fucking made sketch cards for people. Or not sketch cards. Uh, trading cards for people. He's he's done mini series and, and pinups. And been on drawing shows. And done all kinds of stuff to help the movement. While trying to work on his book. And he's getting absolutely savaged by these fucking moronic cretins. I look at Huerta's work and I'm just like, dude... Again, if it were the 90s, you would be a very wealthy artist right now. You know? Uh, I love when they call our book shitty and I ask them how and they run away or just say it's shit. I'm getting no constructive criticism or how to improve it. Yeah, oh yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's one of the things that one of those guys said to me today. 
because uh, I said something. What was my, I said something back as a retort to uh, some bullshit that he said, and he said your your uh, your comeback is as bad as your artwork. I'm like motherfucker, you don't even know my artwork. Wait, you're judging my art by some of the little ten minute sketches that I did that I <laughs> I posted on my timeline. My, what, my magic cop headshot that I did in about 11 minutes or maybe 20 total. You're going to, you're going you're gonna to judge my art on that. Okay. <laughs> oh, you poor little child. You have no idea what you're talking about or who you're dealing with. Because I promise you, boy, you wouldn't speak to me like that in public. You wouldn't. I'd toss you on your fucking head. I wouldn't, actually, because I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I'm not a violent person. And as a matter of fact, all these years of jujitsu have taught me one important thing to chill the fuck out because you don't know what anybody knows. You know, the first time, the first time you get choked out or have to tap when you're rolling with a, uh, you know, a girl who is a high level, you know, jujitsu black belt and you're like, this chick weighs like 130 soaking wet, maybe. And then she catches you in a fucking triangle and you're like, I'm going to sleep if I don't tap. <laughs> it humbles you. It teaches you some shit, you know? So, but, yeah, I'll tell you, I just, I wouldn't mind some of these fucking dickheads getting thrown on their heads. These people tend to not want to run their mouth anymore when they've uh, been, been stomped onto the ground. Oh, Liam, did you did did you see my katana? I brought it down here. I have it next to me. I don't know if you were away when I showed it on stream. Did you see my katana? I brought it I brought it down here from uh, upstairs. I keep this by my bed. There's a ray skin single Mikugi pin 1080 carbon steel blade. With a very nice Hammond line. Really, really sharp. Yeah. Yeah, I've used it for Tame Shigiri uh, only a handful of times, so it's pretty sharp.
Yeah, it's a beautiful blade. I love that sword. I keep it near me all the time when I'm at home. Like, well, not, not when I'm at home, but when I'm... I keep it particularly close while I sleep. It's one of my... One of my prized possessions. It wasn't too expensive, too. It was about $700 for 1080 carbon steel. But the Segeo wrap is silk. And uh, it's got a lacquered, a heavy lacquered scabbard. I gotta oil and dust and polish it. It's been a bit. I've been polished it in a bit. Fuck, I'm making these big selections again. <laughs> it's gonna be a disaster. Oh, fuck. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Not a good idea. Done this circumference. Yeah, that's that's good enough right there. I want a bit of that to be covered. Yeah, so we looks like we're just down to the wire here. subtract that off there. some of it. This guy will get a little bit of rendering because he's so close to the uh, foreground. Okay, let's go linear dodge. Set this to like 20, 30%, and 20%. Transparency locked. Gonna back it up. <laughs> Gonna back it up. It's locked transparency. All right. Fine now. Champions of the night. 
and scroll. Little red light right here. Trace that guy too. And that tail. Color holds, they never fucking end. <laughs> fucking color holds. Such a great effect, but there's such a pain in the dick. Too. We don't want to step super late tonight. We got a lot of work to do tomorrow at work. Lasso. Polygonal lasso. It's a great tool. Great tool. And it's essential to master. You know? It's funny. Some people don't get the concept. Like, wait, you click, and then you just move your mouse, and it draws a straight line. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Guys. I don't know. I like the freehand lasso. Well, okay. There's arguments to be made like, like that right there. I mean, yeah, sure. I get it. But polygonal lasso is infinitely better. Some people use the magnet lasso. I'm just like, what the fuck are you even doing with your life? Magnet lasso? Are you shitting me? So good, bro. No, it's really not. No, you don't understand. It's the best lasso. 
Bro, the magnet lasso is for chumps. No, you just don't understand it. It's misunderstood. It's misunderstood about the magnet lasso. It's just, it's just one of those things that is. That is what? You just, you just don't get it, man. <laughs> Making up scenarios. No. no. See, what you got to do is you got to use the magnet lasso. Set its tolerance just right. Well, what is just right? You know, just right. I've fucked with that thing numerous times, and I've never got a good result. Yeah, man. You just got to really, you got to feel it. You got to feel it. Listen, you fucking hippie. Patchouli smelling weirdo. The magnet lasso is not where it's at. The polygonal lasso is where it's at. Whoever taught you that other shit is out of their mind. Let me see what you're working on. Oh, you're working on that. No wonder you're using the magnet lasso. The line art you're tracing has lines that are a fucking inch wide. No wonder. Try, try magic or try a magnet lassoing something with zip tone <laughs> with grayscale wrapped around it. Impossible. Impossible. Not going to happen. So why don't you go take a bath and some more patchouli. Dismissive. Not submissive, dismissive. Why are you so dismissive? Use your words. Don't. We don't say that. We don't say what? No, no. We don't say that. What don't we say? It's being dismissive. Being what? Dismissive. Submissive? No, dismissive. What? We don't say that. Oh, I'm so glad I can amuse myself. <sighs> you know what would be cool would be to kind of had this idea for a little while. Um to get a piece of line art, like have a comic skate artist draw just a just a simple line art, you know, character drawing of one of the comic skate characters, and then have a coloring show where we have two or three dueling colorists who do their spin or their take on that character and you get an hour to color it we'll say like we'll get a, a piece that's you know you know a, a little character sketch nothing major and uh, have it be uh, pre-flatted right so you just get right to rendering start a timer and then have the two colors duke it out and then have people vote on which which coloring rendering they like more. Sort of like drawn and backhold, like a, you know, friendly banter, some bants, and then the person who do donated the line art gets a gets a couple colored renderings at the end of it, so they get a little reciprocation. We have a little show of it. I think it'd be cool. You know, to showcase one step in the process of making comic books. Yeah, like, you know, I could, I, you know, I've been uh, kind of participating in a, with Narwhal, um, Narwhal organized a little thing called uh, CG Barn Raising, and one of his one of his subscribers uh, is 
you know, has been trying to put together a comic book for like his whole life, I, I, essentially. And so Narwhal got a group together, for which I'm one, and uh, we had a little jam session last Saturday morning for two hours where we took his character, Narwhal drew him, I inked him, and Ink Spots is going to color him, and we're going to assemble a couple of comic book pages for him and be like a like a uh, barn raising, like, like what the Amish do whenever a family, a brand new husband and wife, they, they want to put up a barn so that everybody in the community comes out and, you know, they bring food and they bring their hammers and <laughs> their oxen. <laughs> they fucking put up a barn. So we pulled our resources. We had uh, Indie Comic Dave, Indie Comics Dave. Um, he was there. Oh, it was last Saturday. Oh, uh, we're going to do it every couple of weekends. Like, you know, every two to three weeks. So, so I believe it was last Saturday. So not this Saturday, but probably the next, next Saturday. Not the one coming, but the one after that. Yeah, it's on Narwhal's channel. It's it's a it's a saved video. He's got it up there still. You can kind of see what we did. As a matter of fact, um, here's here's what we did. Um, so let's see where is it. So yeah, here we go. So Narwhal drew um his um. The prophet or prophet or the the templar is this character so he drew this character in the narwhal style and i inked it so those are my inks over narwhal so i added some you know some ink flourishes and hatch pullouts from place to place and some line weights and some breaks and bloops and stuff like that and just basically generally connected narwhal's lines and you know turned out to be a pretty cool piece pretty cool character so you know <laughs> narwhal gave some pretty high praise he goes he goes it's it's interesting to see my stuff inked in like a like an image style i'm like oh it's very nice of you but I mean that's that is my training. I mean I, I apprenticed under a under a uh, an extreme studios inker, a couple of them. So <laughs> a guy, that, one of the guys that I apprenticed under was uh, a guy who apprenticed under R.T. Bear. So you know I take a little bit of influence from each one of those guys. But yeah. So. You know, comic skaters are doing stuff together. You know, we're we're helping each other out. We're donating a little bit of time to uh, build a community. You know, so and it was a fun exercise. And and really, if if nothing else, if nothing else happens from that, if that comic book never gets made, Narwhal and I know that my ink style looks good on his pencils <laughs> we know that now <laughs> we know it now definitively and he and i could work together on something in the future and i think the result would be pretty cool so you know his very minimalist and sketchy dynamic narwhal style have i sparked into art yet um briefly i i think i super chatted a show he was on and i said you know i was uh really good friends with Sean Parsons and uh, you know I was kind of his neighbor and background anchor for a while as I was trying to get myself situated in the industry and he's like oh yeah Sean really good really yeah he worked at work for, for me at Hack Shack you know really really talented artist and that was the extent of it I'm sure Art and I could have some pretty interesting conversations about stuff But yeah, Hack Shack Studios, man. They used to crank shit out there.
but the bottom line though like you know it was it was a lot of fun for us to pool our talents together and uh you know just for the love of the game get in there and help somebody out who's trying to put their book together if nothing else form forming bonds and you know relationships and you know that kind of stuff oh motherfucker <laughs> what that happens cuz i mean i enjoy inking narwhal it's not the first time I've done it too. I I inked one of his uh, his drawn and backhold uh, character. Um, the very I think the very first time they had that show, he drew he drew a character he's making a comic book out of called he codenamed her Underboob, but now it's Foreign Agent. That's his next book. I inked that very first drawing of her. Which is interesting. But on that show, I think he colored her too, and I just stripped the color off and you know, inked his lines. favorite dudes real star power and talent yeah i mean that's the thing man he's uh he's a rare he's a rare talent because he's very humble and he's he's way 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 more intelligent than he puts on like he's he tends to be pretty quiet he doesn't really say much but the things when he throws out some some knowledge i'm like oh fuck that's that's really insightful yeah you know his thought process is very structured and very deep like he's he's got a he's an untapped potential and as a matter of fact like his art style is incredible like it's it's definitely not for everybody but when i look at it i'm like i can see i can see just in the way he structures his characters and the way that the dynamism in his figure work and his his uh, his sense of light and shadow and um, and all that is one of the best I've ever seen like literally and wrap that up in a in a humble a humble vessel like him who doesn't who doesn't like he's got a great sense of humor pretty like generally just non-assuming just just a just a just a workhorse um i i'm infinitely impressed by narwhal in many ways in many ways not just his artwork it's a fucking bird oh this fucking bird needs to be traced as well god damn it Oh, <clears throat> we need to also delete this from up here. I don't want that up there. It's fucking up my mask. There we go. Okay, what time we got? We got 2.10. 2.10 a.m., guys. I think this is actually, actually a great place to call it. So we wrapped up three more pages we got most of this one flatted. This page is fucking phenomenal. There's a lot of flatting to do here. I still got to figure out how I'm going to render Felix or how I'm going to render Esper. Like the rendering style I'm going to go for here. I've been studying it. I've been staring at it and looking at reference and looking at the way Odie paints him. I want to do 
I want to do that justice. I want to figure out what brushes to use and bass tones and all that, but I've got it, uh, I've got it broken out kind of generally. I got the flat colors in there. If we look at it without the inks on, you can see like, you know, this is a base tone is a light gray for the face. And then the same, I used the same hoodie color as Felix's hoodie. Cause uh, you know, I think the color tones should, should reference themselves. They should reference each other. So this is Felix's set of color tiles. His eye color, his, his uh, sleeves and his bodysuit, his belt, his belt buckle, his pants, his skin tone, his backpack, his hair, his eyes and teeth, and his uh, sweatshirt, his hoodie. So <laughs> I've memor memorized every one of those. You can always directly ask OD2. Oh yeah, but you know, part of it is I don't want to rely completely on OD to clarify every bit of it because that's where the in the seams between the conversations is where the magic happens you know what i mean like my sense of my sense of uh how i felt about felix yielded the, the way i colored him so i already know what esper looks like but how i go about rendering him you know, I want to explore that a little bit. You know what I mean? Kind of get in there and explore it. And, uh, you know, not depart from what's been done. But maybe put a little, put a little stank on the fastball. You know what I mean? So, we're still staying within the boundaries, but... Let's see. See how that all goes. Explore it. That's where that's where we win. That's where we win. God damn. Hmm. Oh, uh I read uh I read my script the other day for somebody for just a couple pages of it. And I got accosted. I got accosted. When is the story coming out? <laughs> hey, what's up, Odie? How you doing? Oh, Odie's here. Hey, so let's, uh, let's look at some of this stuff. So, let's see. All right. I want to get your reaction here. So there's that, that, that. Okay, so these three. Okay. So we've got a, an assault happening. <laughs> and then we need to replace these uniforms, which you're going to redraw and, and do your thing. Look at that shit. Look at that. Is that not just nightmare fuel? <laughs> Is that not just nightmare fuel? <laughs> That's so gross. It grosses me out so much. I can barely look at it. It's just his eyeballs bored, like burrowed out. Oof. So, so there's that. Oh fuck! Usually when Liam just notices something, I gotta change a whole fucking thing. What? What did you just notice? <laughs> oh, this. This is a. Oh, I thought it was just a tear in the in the shirt. That's an actual bloody wound. I guess that could be blood right there.
Is this supposed to be this is supposed to be a bloody wound also? I'm just picking up tear in the jacket. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how to make sense of that. a hole from the talon oh so that's where he was being held okay so but it's not here uh, so it would be off screen then it's off camera You like the music on the stream? <laughs> it's royalty free. It's it's Monster Cat. I'm playing Monster Cat because I'm on fucking I'm on YouTube. I'm in the uh the gulag. Like Twitch, I can play whatever I want. You just mute my vods. Okay. Hmm. Trying to think of how to bloody that up. Okay. I'll figure that out. All right, so there's that. And then we got this uh, swooping shot, swooping towards this disturbance on the lightning. And then buildings broken up and uh, if you see anything that needs touch up, you say is left the soldiers uncolored. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then all of the lightning and electricity happening underneath the pyramid here. And then I applied a color hold to this to the cone so that it would feel. So you get kind of get the distance, atmospheric distortion, so it makes it feel large. This is kind of in focus. This is still in focus, but it's it's the color hold gradient is causing it to feel further away. So there's that. And then this, I think honestly, Odie, I think you're gonna like this page the most. So we've got um, this broken up into multiple planes. So you got the foreground focal point. Most of the bright colors are here. Bus is one plane. Then, uh, well, I wanted these cars to kind of they're interesting. So I wanted them to have a little bit of an identity, but not really steal the scene. So I use some bright color here, but they end up, they end up the way I rendered them. They, they don't take, they don't grab too much visual weight. So, and I have them overlaid too, so that they're, they're pushed backward a little bit. So we end up with 
And I demonstrated this earlier. I'll demonstrate it again. Um, we ended up with multiple planes here. So we've got kind of the, let's just linear dodge. We'll go to normal mode. Uh, we've got our character plane here. Right here with the bus. Cause this is kind of the operative space. They're all getting into the bus. And then the next plane of existence is kind of the the, uh, the rest of the cars. So they're... And the silhouette of the people back here. That's another plane. And then we got another plane of this building, this building. Ready, set. All the way through to this building here. And this building here. Can you make a sidewalk and the road slightly different colors? Um, I could, I don't, I don't necessarily with as hard as it's raining, I don't think they would be. I think that the way that, the way that Odie's drawn this and the way that it's been rendered thus far is that it's not asphalt and that these, this is a similar material just with smaller plates. It's like the same material. That's at least how I read it. Um, but yeah, we can do whatever you like. Whatever you like. Then we got another plane here with these sets of buildings. This one. And here. These guys. And then you have your sky. So the, the last plane. So I've broken it up in steps again, like, like in previous time, the previous cityscapes. So, and then we've got our green, you know, like taxi ish number sign and some glows from the headlights and brake lights and whatnot. I like silvery look on the road. Very good atmosphere. Nice. And then we got a middle plane here where it's just, I wanted this to feel ominously dreary. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's raining. It's, it's, it's extremely like overcast and it's not quite light outside yet. There's a lot of lightning. And so we've got Again, the same plane changes here. We got the main foreground, which is the street and part of part of the road, part of the road. And our next plane is this here plus this and that. And then we've got part of these that is part of that, that plane as well. And then this building here and then this thing. That's all another plane. And then the next plane after that is this building. And they aren't very, they aren't too varied. They're very similar. These, this, and this are very similar. And this and that included in that plane. And then I added a gradient, a gradient to the color holds so that the street would be soft back here and come into focus here. So it would just kind of fade into that. The street signs, those are also part of this plane. And then the next plane is this building here and this building here. And then another plane after that is this building back here and all these like that. By the way, can we make any trees that appear in the book purple instead of green? Sure, sure, yeah. I think, I think generally speaking, Everything should be a wash in that purple tone, it, um, unless they're supposed to be, you know, a specific thing that's supposed to be green, but yeah. Um, so, and then this background plane generally kind of opened up. Um, but also these cables, the cableage that goes from building to building, these are all in the foreground, undistorted. So they all read, what a mess. 
what a mess those lines are. But anyway, so, so uh, you know, again, taking a very specific and you know deep look and thought process as to what, how I'm breaking this the each panel down um, to make it make sense, to give it depth, to give it atmospheric distortion, and, and uh, you know, and a feel and a feel of distance, and then adding you know lights to the headlights and stuff and some lights here various places you know just to make it feel alive like something's happening there and then down here in this panel uh heating up the lightning you know with a special effects um tinting the skin of the bird and literally everything is a wash in this purple color because they're flying he's flying through the atmosphere towards the pyramid and so all the ambient light would be a wash in, or all the objects would be a wash in the ambient light which is that purple hue purplish hue so yeah, I think this page turned out very well I'm 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 happy I'm happy with it so but yeah I'll submit you guys a proof of it and you guys can make any recommendations necessary and then uh yeah see he already turned in 18 17 oh and 16 16 so this was the one that i needed to uh put this this part from from the other page um so i copied and pasted it from the from the murder scene with from balvor he killed uh what's his name uh tanner Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. So I copied the floor out of there and brought it in so that it would be the actual thing. So there we got the boys all doing their thing, talking about what happened. Everybody's doing their thing. Yeah. So that's this page. This one's done as well. So 16, 19, 20, 21, or 22. And then 21. 21 needs render, but it's it's got this, this panel. Uh, to have the suits re redesigned and this panel to have the suits redesigned so I've kind of I've rendered the bird and done the background the, the, the screen or not the screen but the the sky um, I'm gonna add a little bit of texture and rendering to the uh, surface of the pyramid I'm gonna blend this this is all gonna be blended and uh, need to render the skin on here. And then this page will be wrapped. There's that. 22. We talked about 22 and 23. Ah, 23. 23 is... Top panel needs facial rendering, a little bit of texture on here. So that's real quick. That's good. It's easy. Uh, brownish smoke. Oh, down here. Yeah, I figured, you know, like, uh, to me, it seems like the birds are flapping their wings and just kicking up dust that's on top. It felt kind of dusty. Yeah, I've been screening all these edge effects with this purple tone to kind of give a little bit of page to page consistency. Um, and then applying the color hold to the middle ground here so that all of the birds in the background, their ink lines are slightly screened back to give them some distance from the foreground. So that these two birds, particularly, 
are very, very much in focus. And the rest of them are kind of pushed back, pushed back so that the, so that the reader can go big bird. That big bird is ominous. He's flapping his wings, but he doesn't have anything in his, in his claws. We've seen in the previous page, he threw this dude, I forget what his name is, Scott, I think you said, maybe, <laughs> flung him on the deck, but the reader's still another page turn. The reader's looking at this guy. And so this, this bird that literally is in the same position this one was in only a minute, a moment before, has someone in his, in his talons. So I wanted him in focus. He, he's kind of like the main, the main focus of this page. So main fo focus, secondary focus. Um, he's got somebody in his talons, the rest of them screened back to kind of like parcel out the information for the reader. So that's my thinking there. So yeah. So we're we're really we're good on that. Save for the few edits we need to make. Um and then these new pages, I've got them all sized out and ready to ready to begin flatting. So I just chopped this one up into pieces. Um, got Balvor's uh, flats put in up here. Kind of trying to figure out what I'm gonna do right here for this, this swipe. Gotta think about that some. And, and this blue is not what it's going to be. It's basically, um, should be a color dodge, not screen. Yeah, yeah, this is, this page is going to take a fucking long time because I am going to go to town on this shit. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to go absolutely ape shit on this, on this page. There is going to be so much over ink coloring. This is our best page currently. I, I would agree. It's, it's, it's quite, quite fantastic. Um, but so the background is going to be more like this. So it's going to be a these the same color mixed into itself color dodge. So, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to be <clears throat> I'm gonna have to trace every single splatter on this page with with red every bit. Every single bit. <laughs> We're gonna be tracing this thing forever. But I want the feeling, I want the I want the gravity of how much blood that is. So and I think we can do it. Um uh ironically the blood took me the least amount of time. <laughs> yeah, because you're working in black. Fucking Odie. <laughs> We, <laughs> you get to work in black. I uh, see you get to work in black, and you get to go like, you get to go like, blah 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 blah, blah. and I got I get to go like this. I get to go, I get to go. Okay, we're gonna get out my small brush here. So we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna be very careful to make sure we get just on the little black lines. Just tiny little black ones. I think we're gonna go like this. <laughs> That's gonna be my life. <laughs> so, so anyway, yeah. So that's uh, that's what I've planned there. Um, so it's partially flatted. 
Um, as far as how to render Esper, I want to explore that a little bit. I want to explore what brush to use and how I'm going to express these these gems here. How I'm going to make these these jewels sing, but not not be too strong. Just just enough. Just enough. Just enough. And this, this stuff. I think it's quite nice with the different shades of white and gray. Um. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know it's more blood. I'm just saying. And this stuff. I'm gonna have to deal with this stuff. Is what I'm saying. To deal with this stuff. So because it's blurred it's blurred we're gonna have to use a series of opacities to do that we can that's easy it's just you know if it's blurred it's just slightly different rendering style um, but yeah but yeah that's absolutely fucking menacing you want to see something more menacing Turn the inks off. Ah. <laughs> yeah. See the bullet holes in his chest. Oh yeah, yeah. Because the previous, the previous page, he was getting shot at by these dudes. Oh yeah, he was getting shot at. So. So I'm thinking on this, I'm going to get these guys carved out and then I'm going to flat fill this, this street tone with a base gray, gray tone. And they're going to really, really fly off this page. That'll allow me to uh, really zoom the focus on them. That's rough to draw. Cause, hmm. You know, your center line. is that's a it's an interesting position to have to deal with this crest and then he's got his his uh his borat underoos right here now this was this was the part you said the last person would kept coloring this black or whatever so <laughs> Oh, it's because it was different, though. It was different, though. It wasn't... This is slightly redesigned. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I get you. Yeah, well, there would be no reason to make it black. It's clearly not black. I don't know why. <laughs> why would we call it black? Check my Twitter. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when we have trees, I haven't seen any trees yet. <laughs> Odie hasn't drawn any trees. <laughs> Since as trees show up now oh yeah yeah oh the pixel art oh yeah 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 um so what are these are these tendons 
are these psionic tendrils of some sort because this this is this is a carapace of some kind this is like a chitinous carapace like this part so their blood cells and biomass blood cells and biomass okay and so what's that from or from his grip Essentially just paint it like blood. He is psionically pulling himself back together. Oh, okay. Is that from getting shot? What is that what is that from? Ah, he's getting hit with bullets. So the bullets are breaking that out of him. Okay. Okay. So he's zip, 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 zip. Got tagged a couple times, but he's just zipping around. Balvor's going like, motherfucker. He just rushes him. So we got 126, 27, 28, 29, 30. And all these are sequential. Oh, 25? Yeah, I don't have 125 yet. He breaks his arm on 125. Really? Breaks his arm on Okay. But yet. Huh. Why wow, he he repairs himself fucking quick, doesn't he? Fan service. Fan service. <laughs> Better be careful, Rantham is going to call you out. Pretty intense fucking sequence, dude. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're 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 better we're. We're getting ready to uh, hit these pages full swing. Okay. All right, we're at 245. I think I'm gonna end it here. I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I gotta go to bed. Kind of tired. 
not kind of tired really fucking tired really tired i appreciate you all very much i appreciate you all thank you for hanging out thank you for being with me on my on my maiden voyage on youtube streaming um you know if you're out there lurking and uh you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i would appreciate it very much thank you Odie. thank you for the praise and for the excellent work and for being there man and uh you know uh, my goal every night is to somehow conjure something that's entertaining to watch and maybe teach something to someone. So if you're entertained, I feel good. <laughs> Thank you very much again. Uh, like I said, like and subscribe, share, all that. We're going to do some more YouTube streaming. I'm going to try to split my time somewhat equally between Twitch and YouTube. Um... I have obligations on Twitch that I have to stream a certain number of days per month uh, to fill my role as an affiliate. So I will continue to do that. But uh, I want my YouTube channel to grow and all that. And, uh, you know, so all that. Hopefully we will grow your YouTube faster. It's just uh, you stream when most of our fans sleep. True. <laughs> True. Um, but we'll see on the weekends and whatnot when people are awake. Ooh. I'll definitely stream some more this weekend on YouTube. So anyway, appreciate you guys. Thank you, Chuck. You're a man. You're, you're the man. You're a man. You're the man. You're all that. And a bag of potato chips too. So anyway, take it easy. Good night. See ya.